Hello everyone, my name is Asisi Pombingileli and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video guys, we are answering this um, plant tissues exam question from a previous life sciences question paper. So let us go through this question guys, it should be easy and straightforward. Remember, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, guys, please kindly hit that subscribe button. It is free. It's more like following someone on Instagram or on TikTok. So please also like this video, comment down below, share the link with your classmates, schoolmates and your friends. And yes, please comment down below. Let me know if you're enjoying the video, if you're learning something, or if there's a specific topic that you would like me to cover, please indicate that in the comment section. All right, let's start. The diagram below shows different parts of a plant. Different parts of a plant, obviously, we are talking about the leaf, um, the stem, and they have not given us the diagram for the stem, and we have the root. So I think that, this is a very nice diagram because it's definitely going to test your content knowledge about plant um, cells and plant tissues. I like it. All right. Three, five, one. Explain one visible structural adaptation that assists the plant to prevent water loss. Let's break down this question, guys. Explain. That's the keyword here. We need to explain only one visible structural adaptation so that means this adaptation should be something that we can clearly see from the diagram right and they're saying this structural adaptation is the one that assists the plant to do what exactly to prevent water loss all right so I think what we can both see from the diagram is the presence of a cuticle. So there is a cuticle over here. So we should be able to see a cuticle and then a cuticle there. So that cuticle, um, we know it's a waxy layer uh, that is waterproof. So it's there to prevent water loss. Let's see how you'll get the three marks. So explain one visible structural adaptation uh the adaptation is the presence of a cuticle so that's the cuticle and what is it exactly it is a waxy layer and how will it be able to prevent water loss it is waterproof that is water proof there you go i'm going to show you how this will be marked um, and how you'll get your three marks. I'm just going to change uh, my color here. You, made, you mentioned the structure uh, and the adaptation. All right. Then let's move to the next question, guys. Uh, remember that I really, really enjoy interacting with you guys in the comment section. So if you have any question for me or even a comment or an emoji, just leave something, please. All right. 3.5.2 name the tissue that transports water from the root to reach the leaf this is easy peasy that's the xylem so xylem is the tissue that transports water and minerals from the root up to the stem and then the leaf now we need to explain again and now it's for four marks what are we explaining explain two ways uh explain two ways how the tissue mentioned in 3.6.2, this is this is supposed to be 3.5.2. Okay, explain two ways how the tissue mentioned in 3.5.2, which is the xylem, is structurally adapted to perform its function efficiently. So they are asking you to explain two ways in which the xylem is structurally adapted in order for it to transport water and minerals from the soil obviously through the roots uh, stem and the leaf that's what they are asking right i hope you understand that question now um you need to mention the structure and the significance of that structure or the function of that structure so i'm going to use this space over here so we can speak about the walls the cross walls that are perforated that's the first point and these are basically to form continuous tubes and these tubes are there to move the water from the roots to the stems and to the leaves so cross walls are p 
pair forated two so this will be one mark actually so far um to form let me see if i can get more space to form continuous tubes for movement of water remember now you are speaking about the function for the movement of water excuse me so how would this be marked so one mark for mentioning the structure and how it's adapted to perform its function so this structure is there to form continuous tubes so that water can move all right remember the xylem transports water so you get two marks for that then the second one that you can speak about, you can speak about the xylem vessels. They have no cell content. Um, this, is al this is to allow water to flow freely. So xylem vessels have no cell content to allow, this is to allow water to flow freely okay there's your two marks xylem vessels have no cell content why for water to flow freely another point that you can mention about the xylem structure um you can speak about uh the walls are strengthened with lignin you would know this to prevent the walls um from collapsing collapsing wow wowsies right um walls are strengthened with lignin so you, you would have covered that in class because i know that's a very important section um to withstand uh, the sucking force of transpiration or to allow water to move freely um i'm not writing these because i don't have space but you can note them down the walls have pits to allow lateral movement of water this one is short so i can write it down the walls have pits um, to allow to allow lateral movement of water. Okay, um, you can also speak about uh, the length. So the xylems um, are basically long and um, cylindrical to allow continuous movement of water so each sentence guys is worth two marks and in our question they said we must explain two so this is the first one and this is the second one there's other options obviously the teacher will have a memo with more options and only the first two will be marked from your answer all right 3.5.4 name the process for which tissue a is responsible Let's look at what tissue A is. There is tissue A over here. So tissue A is responsible for photosynthesis because there's chloroplasts there. Photosynthesis. Name the process which causes water to move from one parenchyma cell to another as it passes through the cortex of the root. Um, for one mark, that process will be osmosis. We can speak about osmosis because water will move by osmosis. Um, but in the different options that we also have in the memo is root pressure, transpiration pool, and also transpiration. But the most correct one is osmosis because water will move from um, is it a region of high concentration to a region of low concentration. Yeah, something like that. I hope I'm not wrong. Um, 3.6, we are explaining again. Explain any two precautions you would take when measuring the rate of transpiration and you are using a potometer for four marks guys let's not skip these questions i know whenever you guys see a question with more than two marks you're like ah this is difficult uh -uh. you must practice these questions that's why we're having these videos so that you can practice these questions know how to um, answer them so that you can get maximum marks all right so the precaution here we would need to cut the stem of the plant underwater this would have been mentioned in class right cut the stem of the plant underwater and why are we doing that to prevent air 
from entering the xylem. Uh, another thing that we can do is to apply petroleum jelly. Uh, okay, and we're doing this, so Vaseline basically. The reason we're doing this is to make the potometer airtight, to make the potometer airtight. Another one uh, would be to cut the stem at an angle to cut the stem at an angle to expose more of the xylem to expose more of the xylem for water absorption i'm going to show you how this is marked in and explain guys one sentence or one one ex I almost said one explanation. Yeah, I would say one sentence or one cause and effect will grant you two marks. Okay, so one precaution here, since we're explaining, right? You cut the stem of the plant underwater. Why are we doing that? So for telling us that this is what we need to do and for telling us the reason why we need to do this, that's the second mark. What are we doing? Applying petroleum jelly. Why are we applying it? To make the potometer airtight. Another thing, what should we do? Cut the stem at an angle. Why? To expose more of the xylem for water absorption. All the best for a test and exam.